Southampton. We're down on a Predator 74, boat 347, just coming out of Ocean Village for a lovely run back up to Swanwick Marina. Just spin the camera around so you can kind of take in what we're seeing at the moment. We've just left a rather tight berth back in the corner there next to the Harbour Hotel. So it's a real docile boat here, so we'll just engage the engines, head on out and into the channel. The boat does about six knots as soon as we put it into gear, so we just have to walk it out on the engines taking everything nice and steady. We've got all our nav kit powered up here, so we've got a chart plotter on this side, and I'm running a radar tonight on here as well, as we're going out into quite a busy shipping channel. See, we've got plenty of depth under the water here. This is our autopilot control here, so you can just see what our rudder's doing. Um, MAN gauges here for the engines, so uh, we've got a pair of the larger 1900 horsepower engines. Standard on this boat is a twin 1550 option, so she does get up and go very well with these big engines. Uh, we've got hydraulic bow and stern thrusters down here, so everything's nice to hand. I've got a joystick system here in Aventix, which takes the thruster and throttle controls and the steering all into one control here for those that aren't on boats quite so often. And then we've got Sleipner uh, vector fin stabilizer system here as well, which is like a a one meter fin either side, curved fin underneath the boat, which gives us stability when we're up and running. Uh, also at slow speed, it just dials out a lot of the roll on the boat. You see we've got a good view through the windscreen here. And then just on my, my right from the helm here, I've got this side door access onto the decks. Obviously this evening, we're just leaving our ropes and vendors up on the deck. No need to put it all away as we're only doing a run, short run, sort of 20 minutes up Southampton Water and we'll be back to back to Swanwick, uh, where next week I'll do a full walkthrough on this boat um, from bow to stern. So I'll check back in in a sec and I'll just do you a quick run once we're up to speed. Here she comes, turbo spooling up. See the speed coming up here from fast displacement up to a planing speed. Immediately we're up to 20 plus knots, effortless boat stays very level coming out of the water. It's very quiet here even with those two 1900 horsepower engines behind us. Just spin around all the noise really far into the cockpit there. And that's a good speed for cruising so we're burning around 250 litres an hour at that 23 knot speed there. Here we're running 31 knots on the log. We're punching tide at the moment, so we're losing about four knots on the tide. Just stick it into some turns. You can appreciate, despite the size of this colossal boat weighing in around 60 tons, she really does perform well. So it's still a really exhilarating boat to drive, as well as a sedate cruiser when you've got the family and friends on board. So here we are arriving back into the Hamble River. See we're back onto a six knot speed limit. Spin the camera around. Beautiful water up there. And we've got about a 25 minute run back up to our home marina. So here we are arriving into Swanwick. See the marina here on the right. Just using our controls gently to walk the boat forward. So we've got a big powerful thrusters here, you'll hear them. And we can do a few things like look at flags on the front of the boat here and the little wind indicators up the top of the mast just to see where our wind's coming from. We obviously know our tide's coming in at the moment, so we're just gonna use those factors. We're going onto this hammerhead berth here, just off to our starboard side. We're just basically gonna line the boat up and then we're just gonna let her drift on. So we've got about 30 meters of pontoon here, so plenty of space for for us here, we're just 74 feet. So the boat's just doing two knots, taking everything nice and slow, 
the real uh, one finger in and out of gear controls here so if I bring my port engine into a stern here using my bow thruster we can start to walk the boat in so everything's done nice and slow Drip on here. So just checking my instruments. I've got great visibility out the side door here, so we can just watch the boat. So we're coming in nice and parallel to the pontoon here. And we're just going to let our nose overhang the front slightly as we've got another boat to put on this berth tomorrow as we get ready for a show that's here in a couple of weeks' time. See just as we approach the last last little bit. So use the conditions just to make our life easy. And we've arrived. So now we're just gonna tie her up, plug the shore power in, put the boat to bed. Hope you enjoyed that saying check back next week for a full tour through the boat from bow to stern.